20% lowered, bro. Yes. Whoa, what? All right, boys, we chilling. We ain't for that intro shit. We hopping right into it. Your boy, Valentine King, he just dropped. He's looking all right, you know. And I don't really know exactly what I want to do. So I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I know what I want to do. I'm going to run him with his second half of his passive being for each applicable ally, which is seven daily sins that aren't light or dark. Increases those allies base stats by 8% and increases the hero's damage dealt by 30% when attacking a debuffed enemy. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go off of that part of his passive. We're not going to do a full fairy team yet. And I'm assuming he does count for his own passive. So in theory, if I have three sin characters, I should be buffing my base stats by 24%. And having a debuffed enemy will let me do 30% more damage, right? So for this, we're going to be running this obscure as mono green team. This makes no sense, but just trust me, bro. I'm just fucking around. This is just straight up fuckery. I'm not even trying to have a crazy meta team. I just wanted to see if this is going to work. So if you don't know what this team is going to be catering to, you know, we have, we already explained King's Passive. It's going to give us the 30% debuffs, and then all our sins are going to have 24% base stats. And, you know, Green Zeldris, if you have debuffs, his max debuff stack is 24%. So that's already a dub. And then on top of that, we're going to have Deanne, Halloween Deanne. If y'all don't remember what she does, her passive, whenever the enemy attacks, they gain a debuff so they can take 20% more damage. So, in theory, if, like, or if they have one of her debuffs, they will be 50% more damage taken from King, if I'm not mistaken. Or, I don't know if that's the whole team. I don't remember. I'm going to be real. And then, last but not least, Rock and Rock Merlin. She has an AoE debuff skill, and she's a Sin. And she's probably like one of the only ones that will actually work here. She has an AoE debuff skill, Shock, and then her passive. 25% more damage to Shocked enemies, or at least the Shock debuff will do 25% more damage. And the damage they take is 20% more. So this is just a damage dealt increase team to anyone who has a debuff. That's it. So we're just going to hop in, bro. Like and subscribe. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm scared. I have a lot of CC for level 90 units. It's my 305. So I'm not going to get out CC in guild 3. That's all I do. That, that's a dub. I ain't mad at that. So let's just see what the fuck happens. If my Deanne will get one shattered or not. I gave Deanne HP defense. And I gave my Merlin attack crit because I do not have... Merlin HP defense gear. I'll get to that eventually. But as of right now, I'm not looking too good. So, theoretically, I mean, I can't use the end right now, but I'm just gonna do the two attacks. Actually, okay, we're gonna do the AoE shock and then we're gonna AoE weak point two times. I think this kills Meliodas. So, with that, they're taking 50% more damage. One hold. Okay, I'm not killing Meli. That's not happening. Not even close. I killed S. The Rosa, but I did not kill Melly. That's very unfortunate, but it is what it is. I kind of had a feeling that would happen, so if he wipes me, I definitely deserve it. <clears throat> but now, this is where Deanne comes in. If Deanne does not die, I should be sitting pretty. Okay, Merlin's dead. I'm losing a 20% damage um, increase, but I'm still getting 20 from her. And now Zell just has two of her debuffs. So, beautiful shot, um, proc. Even though a lot of the Merlin was dead, that still did a lot of damage. Now, Zell just is dead, but he has one debuff, right? So this is what we're going to do. We're going to throw the poison at him. Oh, we can't even do anything, actually. Um, This is the AoE attack disable, right? Yeah, let's do the AoE attack disable from um, Deanne. And then this poison is going to be hitting really hard. 64k poison. That's actually unironically really good. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So now we do that. If, if He can't attack, so he can't even remove his cleanse. So technically, I can... Oh, uh, well, my hand is just ass. Can I kill next turn? Okay, that poison helped out. That poison helped out a lot. Um, I'm going to do the cleave on him. That kills Melly. And then we're going to poison the Escanor into the... Charged from Deanne, I guess. This kills Melly, right? Easy. 87k. You love to see it. And then we go for the poison. This is not going to do a lot of damage. Probably 30, 40, 45. Okay, that's fine. That's more than I expected. I'm not mad at that. I don't think she's going to do damage at all, but, you know, it is what it is. 
Now, the team did work. I ain't mad at that. That was a nice little thing. I just didn't... I would have. I thought I would have killed Melly with the two AoE weak points, but I guess that's just not the case. I probably would have been better off doing the level two. So now he's debuffed. He has twenty percent more, and then he has the thirty percent. So my king will be doing fifty percent more damage. We're going to AoE with this, kill with the ult, and then just throw his elders out there. Fuck it, why not? How much damage are you doing on this poison though? Ninety-one K is not bad. 91k is not bad at all. I'm not mad at that. And then we finish with that. And the Abyss will kill him, I believe. Oh, never mind. Zelda just will take his life out. Interesting. So I can see this team actually working low-key with Halloween DN. Let me find out, bro. Let me find out. Alright, who we got? Okay, King Escanor. No King Relic. That's cool. The CC is really low. Alright. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, I'm in a good mood today. That's why I got so much energy. I'm in an actual good mood today. So, we don't have to worry about attacking three times. So we're gonna AoE with this. Defense relates stat down the Escanor. And then we uh, at weak point with King. I just wanna see this. This is gonna be pretty. I should've probably did that first, but it doesn't really matter. I'll be okay. 97, oh wow. I didn't kill the Gother, unfortunate, but that was pretty good. They all died of poison. <laughs> or, or shock, they all died of poison and shock. They're dead. Wait, wait a minute, bro. Are they just dead? They have no life still. Okay, the King Shield's gonna negate some of the damage, so Escanor might not die. But King and Gother are definitely dead. Oh wait, they have the damage taken deeper from the end. Wait, De wow, wow. Wow, what was that number? <laughs> wait, this team is kind of broken. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This team is kind of crazy. Hold on. What's in the back? Trader Melly. Hold on, bro. This team might be overpowered. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I didn't ex Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. I need to face another, like, meta team, you know? I'm facing the meta units, sure. Like, Escanors, the Melis. But I need to face another meta team. That was fun. Oh, wow. We're gonna go... Okay, let's do the defense down. Defense down. Single target poison. And then go for the king kill. This should kill. 20% lowered. Bro. Whoa, what? Hey, yo, wait, hold on, hold on, hold the fuck up, wait, wait, did I just see a 172k crit on a poison card? Hold the fuck up, give me another team, <laughs> give me another team, hold the fuck Okay, we got a Rimuru, Escanor, Melly. I'm still baffled by that last match. Okay. We have an interesting start. I can't kill him with two AoEs. He's already tried that. So we're going to try this. De defense related down. Shock everyone. AoE. That doesn't attack three times. So I'm not going to proc Meliodas' uh, cleanse. But if he uses a card, you know, it'll work. Right? How much damage are you doing to Melly? 97. That was pretty good though. This is 272 total. Now the problem becomes if he uses a melee card, he cleanses. If he doesn't, he dies to the shock and poison. And if he Okay, Mel uh, Rimuru's dead. Rimuru's dead. I need to get did I give her Tarmi a link? Who did I give Tarmi? I think I gave it to Deanne. I would have assumed she would be the first to die. But I pr should probably give it to Merlin. Escanor's dead, he used an attack. The the, the passive from Deanne is going crazy. Survive, beautiful. She tanked that like a champ. Let's see that damage. What just happened to Melly? Bro, this team is insane. <laughs> Wait, bro, what is that? What is happening? So she has two debuffs from the end. You do this. You do this. Yeah. This team is kind of broken. I'm sway, bro. 92k. That's cool. I didn't crit, so I'm expecting. I did. It, did I target him really? I don't recall that. And then, do I? I don't think I kill Rimuru. Oh, never mind. Isn't that a game? Oh, no. He has a sub. He has a sub. I lost my ult, but it's fine. King in the back for a sub. Damn, nigga. 
Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. But, um, wow. This man just got a great level 3 merger. Does that kill him? It could kill DM. But she has farming. She should be fine. Never mind. She's chilling. Okay, he has one buff. Um, that's an ult that I cannot remove. Do I lose this? I think I lose this. Unironically. Let's do the charge into the de defense down into the poison, I guess. I might lose. If this king is any, like, 6-6 six, six range, I'm probably dead. Or at the very least, Merlin dies. Maybe Deanne. I think Deanne's fine, actually. Can you kill? 95k. That's insane. That's a crazy-ass card. <clears throat> okay, Merlin and Deanne might be dead. Yet. Might be. Ooh, they survived. What's that poison? Oh, wait, he does cleanse himself. All right, since I'm here, right, what's my stats without any debuffs? That's not bad. 25k attack. Um, Defense down him again. Oh, that's not the defense down. We're going to do that, and then we're going to attack seal into the weak point. I think the attack seal breaks the shield. Beautiful. I got the debuff off. 85k, and he can't do anything, and he's just kind of dead. I want to see these um, this bleed damage. 77k bleed? That's kind of nuts. That's very much kind of crazy. Bro. This team is fucking amazing. I did not expect to go in with this team and actually just wipe these people. Like, what is this? Actually. Let's go for do I don't know. Let's go for the Escanor. Escanor Scaly. Let's do the shot again. We defense down, we shock, and then we AoE weak point with King. Saving ourselves from Tarmiel Link and then, you know, just, you know, existing. Who has the Tarmiel Link? Tom. Okay, I see it. 267. He has no way to cleanse either, so his Liz probably dies. If he attacks or uses any skills with Deanne, she's going to take a lot of damage, but I don't think she's going to die, per se. I don't think Tarmiel Link works for DOTs, right? So if she takes DOT damage, does she heal that? That's a hard-hitting Escanor. Okay. My Merlin's going to be in trouble. Level 2? That kills. That kills my Merlin. Yeah, she's dead. Um, Let's see that um, DOT, though. 70k bleed. The bleed's going crazy. Shock, not so much, because she died. Um... Let's do, we move this, disable attack, and then we weak point. Oh, I'm probably, I mean, if I kill Escanor, it's fine, but. Let's see. 154, the Escanor is dead, that's cool. A melee in the back is kind of toxic. <laughs> this is getting a little tough. Well, it's a bot, so nine times out of ten, he's gonna attack and kill himself, so that's fine. That's a lot of damage, though. I could lose this very easily. Unless he used a lot of Escanor cards, which is possible. Okay, he taunted again. Uh, he still has Shock and Bleed on. Let's see how much damage he takes from this. Beautiful! And he doesn't regen from the Tarmia Link. Okay, cool. He's dead, then. We do this. We... Is this an AoE? No. We... I don't want to. We level 3 the DN with my DN. We bleed the melee and then we weak point. This should kill. 95k. Not too bad from a, a you know, not so good unit. 35k is not the worst thing ever. Then the big boy damage, 73. Wait. Ah, shit. I guess I did attack twice. That cleanses me. Don't level 3 AoE. Oh, that's death. I'm dead. GG. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. He fucking merged a level 3. You can't do nothing about that one. That was just pure RNG on his side. You, you literally can't do anything about that. Alright, last match. This is easily the most fun I've had in PvP since, like, Esterosa, maybe. Because Melee and Escanor are cool, but they're too fucking broken, you know? King isn't broken. Like, in the not like the nonsensical way. Okay, he's using Blue Tarmio. That's smart for the Nalphamy, but, you know. We have this. We can kill the Escanor, I think. Even if he has the most stats here, I think he's just dead. 
But like this team is really good. And the DN passive is actually putting in a lot of work. I was not expecting it to be this good. But since they're attacking, it's making the bleeds and the poison do more damage since they're taking 20% more damage, 40% more damage. On top of both of these other units, Ragnarok Merlin and King, having basically the same passive. Okay, now for me, it's going to be a hard workaround since he does cleanse himself. What does he have? If he has the bleed, we're good. If he has the shock, probably not so much. Which, oh, he, he kept the attack disabled. Okay, that makes sense, actually. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, uh, can't debuff him technically. So that's actually annoying. Let's, hmm, let's poison. Actually, yeah, we got no choice. We just, let's level two poison him. For the like max damage we can do, and then we could just ah okay good it needs to level two. I'm gonna save that attack seal for next turn because I think I'm good. Oh, I killed him. What? What do you mean I killed him? What the fuck type of king is this? King is crazy. Wait, how did I kill? His now for me must be just bad. He is level 90, I see that. So I'm not getting like true damage technically since he's not really the highest in terms of stats. But my character's a level 92, okay? Listen. But to be fair, the one that matters is level 100, you know? And, you know, geared up. Cosmetics though, not so much. Uh, that's a problem. That is a problem. Um, let's do this. Attack disable. And then... Uh, well, he doesn't have an attack, so attack disabling now for me literally doesn't do anything. So there's no point in me keeping that on him. We're just gonna hit him with the poison. Get the Liz out of here. That's beautiful. Yes. Bro, what the fuck? He's insane. Now, okay, bro. I don't know, bro. I think the fairy team, like the whole attack related stats he gets, is cool and all. But this team is unironically really good i knew it was like trying to make something crazy happen but i did not expect it to be this good i came in here expecting like okay damage at best probably getting one shot it but i'm basically one shotting them before they can one shot me uh defense door him because that's his entire shtick aoe with king aoe with um i mean oh, oh with oh with king oh with me. you know what i mean he got that did he oh i kept the recovery fuck me Okay. One six. That's not bad. Two hundred k. I think I kill Melly. My Halloweenian is what four six five six. I don't remember to be honest. And then uh, Abyss kills for sixty two k. Yeah, this is my favorite team in the game now. I don't know what type of crack. Listen, bro. I. This team is kinda nasty, I'm not gonna lie. 1.3 million damage, bro. Or was that damage? Yeah, okay, 900,000 damage. Wow. Nah. This is a good team. King is actually really good. <laughs> that was crazy. This is the best video I've recorded in a very long time. That is for fucking sure. I don't think I've ever been this hype in the video recently in like probably a month because i'm just not a fan of the pvp meta this king is actually usable i take back everything i said the whole he can't be used because he's debuff centered nah bro this man is crazy <laughs> this man is crazy <laughs> i enjoyed every fucking second of that i recommend everyone to watch this video to use this team if you have following the end built i highly doubt it because you know everyone likes to follow the meta and all that shit and no one likes to build fun characters anymore. But yeah, Halloween Deanne, bro, her passive was going crazy. Ragnarok Merlin, her passive was fucking nuts. King's passive for the sins part of it, those base stats were going crazy. And then Zelda's in the back, more that's 48% base stats. That is actually kind of nuts. But I'm done, bro. This video is crazy. This video is hilarious. Wow. I'm done, bro. I'm done. I'm going home. I'll see y'all in the next video, man. Peace.